It's just so weird to think that we were just in the town there and this, you didn't, almost didn't feel like this, there was a beach right on the town. We're Liam and Janine, a couple travel in the UK in our converted Ford Transit camper van called Frida. We are on a mission to experience the best of the UK's locations and plant-based food on this epic tour. And in this episode, we have coffee at a stunning beach castle, we go wild camping in the city, and we come to realise some things just don't go to plan, but as long as everyone's okay. So buckle up and subscribe as we discover this place together. Morning guys, this is, uh, it's quite early in the morning. This is where we wild camped last night. We're gonna tell you where we are in a second, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave here now. Uh, this is in quite a sort of populated area and go to our first location of the day and we'll chat some more then. Oh, it's cold. Even at this time, around 7.30, it's quite busy. And where we camped was next to a busy road, so it was a really good time to be leaving. So off we went to our first spot for the day, where we'll be having a cup of tea, wash and brush our teeth. Toilet. Hopefully they've got some public loos here and there's a car park. All refreshed, we headed out to see this location Feeling very optimistic about this place already. I mean, how couldn't you be? It's already looking very idyllic. Have you guessed where we are yet? Good morning, everyone. As you may have guessed, we have made it to Dorset. Yes, we came to Dorset because, pretty much because of the weather. The next 10 days are looking really good. So the last time you saw us, we were in Nottinghamshire for the vegan camp out. We drove all the way down to the Midlands where my family are. Uh, I've got some serious family stuff happening. Uh, one of my family members is very ill at the moment. Um, so uh, that's gonna be a part of what we're doing now. We have to intermittently go back there. But in between, we get to come to places like this. So we're in Dorset. Last night we wild camped in Bournemouth, wasn't it? Bournemouth, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Boscombe, I think it was called. Boscombe. Um, and uh, we woke up nice and early this morning, Did just packed up, left, and came here, and we just brushed our teeth, washed, drank some tea, coffee, and all that sort of stuff. And now we're in Highcliffe Beach, and this is Highcliffe Beach. Uh, and the reason why we're here is because we hear there's a castle right on the cliffs. It's and, it's and, and it's beautiful. And there's a castle down here somewhere, oh, isn't yeah, there? there's a castle. Yeah. yeah. If you just keep walking along down the bottom, yeah. you'll come to the castle, up the zigzag, and, the and it's there. worth a walk, is it? Oh, it's worth the walk. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, you can go through the woods, but you know, if you want to go down the sea, just keep walking. Oh, brilliant. You won't miss it. Thank you. What's your name? Mary Fraser. Mary Fraser. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. Mary Fraser. So there is a castle down here. Yeah, there is a castle. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Actually, it's not really a castle. It was somebody's home. Oh, okay. But he wanted it to be like a castle. His castle. Will you let us go and have a look at it? Yeah. He will? It, oh, there, there's nobody in it. I mean, it's open yeah. and there's a shop yeah. and you can go round. Oh, cool. That sounds yeah. all right. We'll go and have a look at that. Go Thanks, 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 Mary Thank Fraser. Okay, so as Mary Fraser just said, there is a castle down here and that's why we're here. But we're starting off uh, this as our very first point for Dorset Van Life Adventures. Uh, we're here in quite a busy season. Still, let's find out what it's like. Uh, we're well excited about it. We love the beach, we love the sun, and let's go and see this bloody castle. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the most eastern side of Dorset, um, which is where Bournemouth is, and we are going to be making our way over to the western side on this uh, tour that we're doing. And 
Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna stick to the beach as well. The beaches are absolutely stunning from what we can see so far. So this tour is going to be so exciting. We forgot to mention that this area is called Highcliffe Beach and it's just east of Bournemouth. The beach is really long golden sands with a sandbank at the very end which you can catch a ferry to. You can even see the needles on the Isle of Wight from here. But our mission today is to find a castle, so off we went. The uh, access to the castle looks like it is wheelchair, um, bike, skateboard, pushchair push friendly um, and there's people going down there in bikes which makes me think that the beach is actually um, wheelchair friendly as well. But don't hold us to it. Yeah, don't hold us to it but I presume they weren't mountain bikes, they were small wheeled bikes so um, I presume there's some sort of path or something to go along by the beach. So we have climbed the uh, big slope to get up here. The ground is now gravel and we can see the castle in the distance and it looks very, very pretty from what we can see. There's actually a tea room there as well. Um, not sure how much it is to get in or anything like that, but the surrounding area of it is absolutely beautiful. It's like in a forest by a beach can't really ask for much more than that. We walked through the woods towards the castle and made a beeline for the cafe for a bite to eat before we checked the place out. We are at their gorgeous little cafe um, with such a nice view of the castle and I went in and asked if they had any vegan options and they, don't, li they literally don't have anything apart from like a black currant crumble if you fancy something sweet. Um, but they do have soya milk or oat milk. She wasn't quite sure what one they've got, but they've got something so you can have a coffee. So if you are looking to eat here as a vegan, I probably wouldn't bother. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't bother. So we're, get, we're getting some coffees. We're gonna look at the view, this big bumblebee. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we're just gonna then walk around the castle grounds some more because it's beautiful here. Um, that's the vegan option. It's a sort of a blackberry crumble. It's the same one that you see sort of everywhere. Um, but no complaints when there's always a, a sweet treat to have. But there's, that is it for the vegan options here. I did hear them having a chat in the kitchen after you'd been in Janine <laughs> and the chefs were all saying, oh, we've got anything else that's fit. Are the chips vegan? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Look what you've started. We ate our crumble, drank our coffees, then had a wander around the grounds. Highcliffe. <laughs> Highcliffe Castle is really, really nice. Well worth a visit. Not, the cafe's not very good for vegans, um, which is why now we're going to go back to Boscombe where we wild camped last night because we've got a friend who owns a cafe there and it's a really, really quirky, quirky thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm so excited about doing this because I'm pretty hungry now. So let's go back, let's get in the van and let's go to Boscombe. We walked back down the slope past the stunning Golden Beach up some steps and back to the car park to Frida to head to Boscombe. Boscombe has a beach right next to Bournemouth Beach, but it's currently a Saturday on a bank holiday weekend, so we were hoping that Boscombe Beach would be a little quieter than Bournemouth, but we will see. One thing's for sure, the traffic around here is pretty busy. It's funny that we're in the lines then on a bank holiday weekend. 
we really are like this is where everyone's coming to this is where we've come but we were very resourceful janine and i and we will find somewhere to park and somewhere to drive to and somewhere to eat and all the rest of it so it'll be all right we drove around for a bit trying to park and eventually found a space a little walk away from town but still relatively close okay so we are here we've just parked up we're right by another beach or another sort of overlook of a beach just walking down here now so that overlooks the sea over there and then down on the bottom of the cliff i presume there's some sort of a beach um, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, yeah, so we've parked up here and we are heading into town to go and get some food and I'm really hungry. Wait a second, let me just get myself sorted. <laughs> we made our way to the middle of Boscombe to an amazing restaurant called Plant Hustler to meet the King of Hustle himself, Aaron who actually happens to be the most informative and enthusiastic person we have ever met about plant-based meat. That's a really good one as well. Yeah, but I'll be doing more as in mock chicken yeah. from that as well. Is it like, you know, like with the future stuff, it's well wet and soft when it goes in? No. Not. Okay, so we've just sat down. He's given us some meat alternatives, which is awesome because they sound really, really good. Like they're gonna be really nice in a curry. Um, and he's gone off to get us some food. So we've been chatting to him for ages and um, yeah, just listening to everything. It's been really interesting. And so now he's gonna get us some food and I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so the reason why we came to visit Aaron is because he has a couple of incredible vegan businesses that we wanted to show. His food is actually insane. He sells poke bowls with realistic salmon, incredible mock meat burgers, kebabs, chicken poppers, and these phenomenal chicken drumsticks on a sugar cane stick, which were my personal favorite. We chatted to Aaron for a while, then had to leave to our next location. Well, that food was just incredible. Um, it was so nice, but we had so much of it. I am completely stuffed now, and we've even got two poke bowls in the back of Liam's bag. <laughs> Yeah, we had some plans to make our own dinner tonight and all the rest of it, um, but that's gone south. <laughs> I can't eat another thing today, I don't reckon. So. But it was so good. And I, said, I said to everyone on here that it's going to be quirky and I didn't realise it was going to be that quirky. <laughs> we headed back to the van to put our food in the fridge before hitting Boscombe Beach. Oh, it's like proper fine sand. Awesome. <laughs> It's a ridiculously sandy beach. You can see why people bloody come here because the sand is just absolutely perfectly golden fine sand and the sea's completely calm today. I know it can have a few waves as well. Um, but yeah, man, this is just, it's just so weird to think that we were just in the town there and this, you didn't, almost didn't feel like this, there was a beach right on the town. Um, it makes me want to go for a swim. <laughs> I still feel like I'd have to get a, a uh a wetsuit on for, um, it's been like two weeks since we were last in the sea. Um, I feel like I need to get my wetsuit on to get in that. Yeah, it's pretty cold, although I would, if the sun was out, I'd get in it, no worries. We're heading back to the van now. Um, we are actually heading right to the end of this beach with hopes to find somewhere a little bit more quiet. So off we go. Our aim was to go right to the end of the beach where the sandbanks are and chill there for a while before finding our park up for the evening. So off we went. Yards, make a U-turn. What? That doesn't look very inviting, does it? I, w would you say that that's something that we could go into or not? The sign is empty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lot of the car parks around here have a height barrier, so we can't actually get into the car parks. Here, there's one there. So as you can see, we can't get in. That's why we ended up in that random place over there uh, with Satnav sending us everywhere. Um, so we've decided to turn around and go back and try and find, there's a few like sandbanks around this kind of coastline. So we've decided to look for the other one that we saw on the map. So we're heading there now and hopefully we can park up. We made our way to Sandbanks Beach number two. This one is actually on the other side of Bournemouth about 10 miles away in Poole. It's so cold out there. It's just the wind's up and, uh, and it's freezing. And I'm gonna have to get my big fluffy jacket on now. Um, 
and people are walking about in their really light summer clothes and I'm here inside shivering. I'm gonna put my jacket on. All good? It's a uh, premium real estate here. It's two pounds 25 per hour. Seriously? Yeah. My word, that's expensive. We paid for one hour and went across to the sandbank for a very quick look around. The beach was vast, but very pretty. On our way back to the van, we witnessed an accident. So, um, a little bit of change of um, atmosphere, I guess I'd call it. Um, we came back to the van from the beach. Um, the beach was gorgeous. We came back and we actually witnessed a girl getting hit by a car off her bike, so off her bicycle. Um, and so we were there like instantly we, we were right next to where it happened so we have been with her um, and the police for a good few hours now because the ambulance hasn't come because apparently they're really busy or something so we've all been sort of sat um, alongside by this uh, sort of harbour and yeah that's that's basically what we've been doing we've been trying to sort of make calm her down she's been a bit shaky um she's okay though she is okay she's not nothing's nothing looks broken nothing she's got a little cut on her chin um so i think she's sort of in shock and you know she might i don't know i'm not gonna diagnose her but um yeah so she's she's okay um and that's what we've been doing. So I haven't been able to show the area as much as I wanted to, um, but hopefully I've caught a few images of sunset. The sunset here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Liam's still with the police and everything um, over there now. So I just thought I'd pop back and just explain whilst it was light, because the sun's just about to go. So um, that's what's happening. And I will catch you up with what happens in a minute. Um, bye. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was the police. <laughs> um, it looks like they're sort of all going now. So yeah, anyway, um, I'll catch up with you in a bit when I find out what, what we're doing and where we're sleeping because our plans have gone a bit skew whiff. What awesome people they are. I know. Those, those coppers were su such nice people. And I know you. I know everybody always says that all the time after they meet coppers and stuff like that. But they were really, they were really, really nice people. Um, so what happened with that? Yeah. So un you know, nothing ever goes the way you think it's going to go. Um, our whole evening was being taken up with a girl who just not got knocked off her bike just here, right in front of the van. Um, the main thing is she's all right, covered in cuts and scrapes and bruises and stuff, but she's going to be okay. And it was complete accident as well. So, um, so anyway, now we're going to leave this beautiful location. What a beautiful sunset. At least we had the beautiful sunset as well. And we're going to go and find our park up for the evening, which actually is in, is in Bournemouth city center, which is going to be really interesting because you'd think it's going to be quite busy. Um, but we're going to use it. We use the app park for night park for night says we can stop there. Just need to go and check it out and see if it's okay. So let's go. We totally forgot about the parking meter, but luckily we didn't get a ticket. We arrived in Bournemouth in the dark to do a city park up. Okay, so there weren't actually any parking spaces. So we've decided now to go to Boscombe again because we stayed there last night and there were plenty and it's not far from the city centre anyway. So we know that we can actually stay there. Um, we were just gonna try out this place to see if we could, but we can't. Having had such a crazy day, we settled in for the evening and got an early night. We were exhausted. 
So I am just sat outside the van drinking my tea. Um, this is another part of van life that happens quite regularly. Liam wants to have a wash. It's a nice day outside today actually so um, it's a good way for us to give each other a little bit of space. Um, we just get out of each other's hair. Here he is now. Are you all clean? I'm all clean. <laughs> so now it's my time to go back in um, and sort out the van so we can set off. We finished off getting ready and packing up the van for us to leave. We went to Sainsbury's to get some essentials and popped to their cafe for a quick breakfast before deciding to head over to a ferry port to go to Swanage. Yay, they're letting us on. We've been in the queue for about half an hour, but they're letting us on now. Well, maybe. Maybe, if we can get on this one. There's quite a few people here. I don't know what the crack is, whether we can get out and walk about the ferry. Can we? Yeah, this chap in front just done it. Because I need the toilet and I'm hoping that there's toilets here. Um, shall I get out? And... Yeah, yeah, go see what you can see. Okay, so the I can't get through. There are signs for like toilets, but they're all chained up. So if you're in a vehicle, you can't go. Um, but the people who are sort of passengers without a vehicle can. Which is a bit annoying. Oh, Never mind. Oh. I don't think it's going to take that long anyway. We're off. Oh, we're moving. Okay. Not much to see. So catching a ferry like that and then landing on the most idyllic, gorgeous, white sandy beach, it just makes me feel like I've gone to a completely different country. It's a really weird feeling, but really cool as well. Especially after the two years that we've just had as well. Yeah, especially being in lockdown and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like now I'm, I feel like I'm abroad and I'm not. Buongiorno, <laughs> where is the local petrol station? We need to go for cocktails, Liam. <laughs> we need, that's what we do when we go to different countries. We have a cocktail, so. <laughs> Hi, mate. So the car parks around that area were chock-a-block. Um, we'd like to park up and go and have a look at that gorgeous beach and we spotted a really nice cafe as well that uh, we want to go to. So we've decided to bypass the Chock-a-Block car park and see if we can find some parking along the side of the road, just up the road a little bit. It ain't looking good. Everybody has got the same idea. Miles of parked vehicles as far as the eye can see. Okay, well, we've pulled into a National Trust car park. It said it was full, but we found a space, luckily. Um, it's free for us to park for, because we're National Trust members. I'm not sure how much it is if you're not, um, but there's a beach nearby. So we're now going to look for a bite to eat, maybe a drink or something, and we're gonna sit on the beach because the beaches around here just look so stunning. We couldn't go by without having a look. We headed for the beach which turned out to be the busiest beach in the world and walked towards the nearest cafe. It's a mix of being in a Mediterranean country with a shed load of people, like a lot of people. This is really a bank holiday weekend, mass of people. Anyway, there's a cafe here, we're gonna get a coffee and then sign out and work out what our next stage of our plan is uh, because we never knew we'd end up here. So always nice to not, not have the unexpected happen and uh, yeah, let's get a coffee. Why is this interesting? Because I just queued for, queued for an hour for this and I got everything that's vegan in there. Wow. Everything. Don't get your hopes up. I'm excited. It's a bag of chips and flapjacks, it's two of, standard. Uh, the curry cauliflower pasty, two of, and a portion of chips to share. That's what that's what you can get from the National Trust in um, wherever whatever this place is called 
I'll leave us a lot of the fairy. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video of our the start of our journey in Dorset doing van life. We've just made it across on the ferry to this strange place. We don't know too much about it yet. Um, it was unplanned, wasn't it? Uh, but really, so far, glad we came here. Um, so make sure, uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and